coming to a head was this, this term, uh, a lot of it revolves around this term we know as fixation. Um, and so just as structural fixations in the spine can often lead to pathological, like uh, functional pathology, so too I think does your uh, mental um, your mental inflexibilities lead towards a decrease in our abilities to adapt. So basically, when we're unflexible in our minds, we, we, we have a, a decreased ability to adapt in our world. I personally contend that health and healing really, in a lot of ways, for humans is our ability to change perceptions, and our, our ability to To, to see what I do have and consider what I don't. And it's, it's hard to be caught up in, in this world of stress, but when you really sort of break it down and you realize the privileges that were, that were afforded, it changes how I, how I think about, you know, um, what we do, what we have versus what we don't. And, um, for example, like, I lost, I lost some nerves in this arm, and I remember people telling me, like, too bad, sorry, sorry to hear that. You know, for me, I never thought about the nerves missing. I just thought about having an arm. I thought about, wow, I have an arm. Versus like, wow, well, I'm missing nerves. I can't, you know, there's some things I can't do. And, and I find myself sort of reflecting that often. And I, and I sometimes I lose sight of that. And then when it brings me, when I think about like, really what my focus is, is to, to retrain myself to be appreciative of what I do have. And so that's one example that really comes to me often. Um, I think that we really get involved a lot of times in um, interpreting definitions relative to our historical uh, conditions. Conditions, you know, we're conditioned to think of things in a certain way. So then we, like, we route that way. We, we think like, oh, this is negative or this is this positive. And um, I wanted to ask a question. Like, when I say the word interference, what do you guys think and feel when I say that word? Hear that word. Yeah, right. So, 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 what, what if I was to tell you that what I meant by the word interference is constructive interference? Would that change kind of your, your perception of what that means? That, to me, is an example. Um, I don't even know if anybody has heard that that term, constructive interference. But that's kind of how I I think about that. I hear it all the time, and some part of my mind goes, well, wait a second, you understand this as constructive. You know, so it, it like takes me out, and and the, where, that, where that concept comes from is it, through quantum um, mechanics. And I, I took a course in quantum physics many, many years ago, and it became really relevant to me that, uh, that everything is just energy. That its fundamental core value, like even matter, is nothing more than a condensation of energy and a localized point. And when you talk about energy, it, it's kind of an amorphous, like, uh, um, abstract concept, right? But in order to help me visualize or help discuss it, I think of energy in terms of vibrations and wavelengths. You know, you have high energy as intense wavelengths, rapid, a lot of them, and then low energy is like, smooth wavelengths. And that's how I tend to see a lot of things in this world, is like in interference patterns between wavelengths. And um, I think, so there's two, there's two forms in which wavelengths can interact. It's either destructive or constructive. So when two waves are in phase with each other, they tend to add to the amplitude of one wave and they build and they create a bigger wave, a bigger wave pattern. 
And then when, when and I had pictures, I don't know, and getting out of the house this morning, I must have forgot to look. But the, it's cool because you, you, you can see it through light. When light um, engages, two wavelengths of light engage, you get patterns, oh, you got it right here. Yeah. You get patterns of light and you get patterns of dark. And, and so, so where it's light is where the wavelengths are adding together and they're building on each other. And where it's dark is where the wavelengths are subtracting and, and taking away. And we call that destructive interference and constructive interference. That's what I call it. So I think really that uh, through this, this pictorial representation, it helps me gain clarity on how the energy that we put into our system into the system affects that global system, you know, it, it's influential, it's, it has an additional effect or a subtractive effect. And I tend to, it helps me to think about it in terms of a wavelength, you know, and like, if I feel like I'm resonating with a wavelength, with a person, you know, I, I feel like that's what I want to do, is like, get on that person's wavelength. And a lot of times in this chiropractic education, I, I've gotten this sense that we need to be doctors, we need to tell people kind of how it is, and I don't necessarily feel that way, I feel like, you need to kind of meet your patients on, on, their, on their ground level too so you can bring them into your sphere and help influence them energetically. And I believe really the trick in life is to harmonize with optimism and vitality so that we can um, constructively interfere with, 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 with what's in our environment you know, so that we, we increase the vibration. And I think in a lot of ways, like that, another term for that is tone. We use tone in chiropractic school. And that's kind of how I think about tone is, is what vibration is happening. Now. Is it sporadic? Is it, is it high energy? Or is it kind of blending and, and soothing? And, and, and so I also believe that as chiropractors, it's our duty to affect the vibration, a.k.a. the tone, of our uh, patients. And I just have one quick quote. I don't have it up here, but be careful of your thoughts. Because your thoughts. Because your words. Be careful of your words. Because your words become your actions. Be careful of your actions. Because your actions become your habits. Thank you.